Michael was the youngest of three children and he was a very active little boy. He spoke very well. He was running around playing with his brothers and sisters and he was fine. He seemed just fine. A perfectly healthy little boy just collapsed to the ground, had a seizure, and his eyes just started to flutter, and his whole body was shaking. Then he started to have drop attacks, and he had to wear a helmet, and those were the worst seizures that we've seen, because his body would just collapse to the floor and he had lost teeth and he had bruises all over his face. But the doctors really didn't have any answers, so we took him to New York City to the Neurological Institute and the doctor there diagnosed him with Lennox-Gastaut syndrome. With Lennox-Gastaut syndrome, the prognosis is poor and that's the only thing that the books really tell you. They don't go into any kind of detail as to what to expect as to how bad it can get. I didn't know um, that Michael would have behavior issues, and I really didn't think that he would have the progressive mental retardation either. Well, Michael has uncontrolled seizures, and he's had them for about 18 years. Michael's 21 now, and he goes to a day hab program for adults with disabilities, and he does make it there three to four times a week. The seizures still do take over, and sometimes he's just too tired even to go there. Being the parent of a young man with Lennox-Gastaut syndrome is very difficult because we just don't know what to expect. He'll do rather, for Michael, doing well is not having a seizure for a week. And if he goes a week without having a seizure, we're thinking, yay, he's finally going to stop having seizures. And then, of course, he'll have several. And we just don't know what to expect. We don't know what the future holds for Michael. I might be still <laughs> I am almost three. Mm -hmm. I can see such a... Uh, almost 21.